Hey guys, Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a redstone tutorial. Uh, this is a new kind of series that I wanted to start and I thought I would start this off by doing a redstone tutorial of my minecart storage system because I asked if you guys wanted to do it in the Minecraft sh I, I mean what, <laughs> I'm getting all confused. If you, you guys wanted to a tutorial on that on the show off video that I did. And heaps of people said yes. Well, a couple of people said yes, so I'm just going to do it anyway. So let's just get straight into it. What you're going to need, we're going to lay out the uh, minecart tracks now. So what you're going to need is powered and normal minecart tracks. So we're going to put one there, one there, one there. And then normal track, normal track, normal track. Powered there, powered there, powered there, and powered there. Then you want to put a cart track, normal track there, normal track there, normal track there, normal track there. Then here, what you want to do is dig out two there, put that down, put a powered there, powered here, break that powered, and then that will stay up like that, and that's where the mine cart will stop. Now next, what you want to do is get the a block of your choice, and I'm going to be using red wool, and I'm just going to put it in front of these tracks here. And then with the blue wall, you want to go this track here, diagonal, and then another diagonal and put that there. And then two across, place another one, then another two, put that. Now on all of these, you want to put buttons, so one, two, three, four, five, six. These are going to be, that's going to be the give me the minecart method, and this is going to be the return method for the minecarts. Now I will just show you this so you guys can pause the video and do the layout if I have gone too fast for you. And you should have paused the video there and copied the layout if you haven't. So now we're going to do the re redstone. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the return method. I always usually start with this. So what you want to do is place one redstone on behind the third one, break that, put one there, put one in there like that. Then here in between the first and the second one you want to put a redstone repeater facing that way to the third one because this is this is going to be we don't want this one second and third one messing with the return method of the first one and if you do a repeater like that it's not going to go that way it's only going to go that way here what you want to do is dig out like this oops dig too deep along here until you get to in line with this, oops, in line with this track here, and do two across, two across, and then two across like that, and then just put that back under there. Then you want to put redstone all along the bottom here, making sure this redstone here is touching the block under that track. Then come along here and connect that to that, and then if you want, you can just cover that back up. Also here you might, um, I'm not sure, I think it interferes, but you might want to break that and put that like that because there's a redstone wire that's going to be coming across here. And so when I did this it was like looping, looping and getting powered all the time. One sec, someone's messaging me on Skype and it's really annoying. Okay, sorry about that, um, they were just spamming me, um, but don't worry, they're just my friends. So if we go this way, oh, okay, my bad, bring the redstone from here, this way, and bring it along here, like that. Now that's done, we're going to get some redstone repeaters and put them there, facing that way, there, there, and for here you are not facing that way, facing to that redstone wire there. Then you put redstone wire here and redstone wire here. Now I just, I'll do this now, um, flick these repeaters up to the max, so one, two, three, one, two, three, because if you don't do that the um, tracks won't turn at the right time. And whew, that's that's practically it for the return method. It seems kind of little for a return method of the minecarts, but that is actually it. 
Now we're going to do the gimme the minecart method and this is pretty easy as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig under there like that, dig there, now we're going to go down and just do that and then bring the redstone like that, put that back on, redstone there, redstone there and redstone there. Now when you power that it's going to power that and it's going to power that track if you're going to do that. Now you're not going to be able to put a block here or it won't work so you're just going to cover it like that. Now if we come over here, notice the redstone's here so we're just going to go, oh wait, my bad. If you want to be good, come under here, power this block here, just right here, I'm not sure. It's one across, one across, right, two across from this track here, power this block here, then just put a redstone there, and then that will power it. That's just a little quicker way and makes it more compact. And then you'll notice that if I press this button now, it powers that. One sec, let me just test that. Wait, what the? And uh, also what you want to do is, I uh, just stuff this up a little bit. What you want to do is put a redstone repeater here because um, if you notice when I was pressing that button, that, that signal was going around here, going through that and then going under here and powering that as well and I do not want it to do that. And it's going night time so we'll put it back to day. Now we're going to go on and do this. These ones are, are the give me the minecart methods I've already done because I did two at the same time and that's all you need for it. For this one it's a little bit different. What you have to do is break that one, break that one there and then go down here, break all across there and just fill redstone in like that and then now you notice that that gets powered like that and a little tip here if you want to just make it look a little bit better get a stone slab um, and put it under like that like because if you're standing here you can see that you can see the redstone down there now just fill that back in And then once that's done, come over here, break it like that, and you'll notice the redstone stops right there. Or if it doesn't, bring it over further so it stops there. And then all you want to do is just put a bit of redstone there, there like that so it connects up to this one. Now we're going to put minecarts. Oh wait, we're not actually done yet. Put, Build this up to like that. It'll be like an E shape. So two there, two there, two there, two there, two there. That's in between the tracks. Now we need to get a redstone torch and put the redstone torch in between like that on there so it powers these carts here. This won't interfere with any wiring so don't worry. Now if I'm correct that is actually it for the um, whole thing. Let's just test it out and just, it might not be, I just might need to make a little bit more tweaks so if I press that and that comes around, we'll return that, I don't need it and that goes back to slot 1. Now we do slot 2, that's coming out and that's out and let's press this for it to go back and that works and I know this will definitely work because it comes in and we press it again and it goes back. So I'm pretty happy that I got that in first shot. Last time I didn't but now what you can do is just fill in all this. Uh, what the? Uh, one. one, two, three. Okay, don't worry. I was thinking that I made it smaller before but I didn't. So now I just want to cover this all up. Put 
put that in between there and then just fill that like that just put that over there like that because I like it makes it look a little bit more neater and did it did fast forward okay now that we are done I will I finished covering it all up um, you can actually do this if you want break these redstone torches and instead of putting them there put them under this and this will save um, some space if you actually just want to cover it up like this because I couldn't put the um, block here before because of the torch was here but now I can and I'll just make it look a little bit more nice and um, let's put there like that and get some trap doors put that like that and then we'll have a little staircase going up for restocking which I think will look really nice so yeah just a little random extra so let's test if this will work hit the first one minecart comes out and we can put whatever we want in there send that back and when you're doing this this one this is number one I'll mark this out actually I'll just say food blocks tools and now for the return methods you don't want to muck these up so food this is going to be return th food see return food and for the next one obvious return blocks and then the last one return oops tools now this should all work uh, let's go get some blocks even though there's none in there put that in there return blocks and then for tools this will come out tools nothing in there and return tools now we'll just check them see that's the one I just put in and that's those three and then this is all the random ship and this is the end of the tutorial now I hope this was pretty easy for you um, if you like this tutorial and want to see more please give this a like and a comment if you want to see more uh, give suggestions if you want to see like a certain thing made and I will probably do it so I'll see you guys next time for another episode of something and bye.